My name is Kevin Huffenberger. I'm an assistant professor in the physics department at the University of Miami. And I study the branch of astrophysics called cosmology, which is the study of the universe on the large scales, uh, how it got started, how it's developed through, uh, through its history, and how it's, uh, what its fate is. Uh, the way that I study the universe is using light from outer space called the cosmic microwave background radiation. And what this is, is uh, radiation which is left over from the Big Bang. In the early universe, the whole universe was dense and hot, and dense hot objects glow like a piece of iron that's heated up will glow. The whole universe was glowing at that point. And some of this light is still around. As the universe has expanded and cooled, this light has been shifted into the uh, wavelength range that we call microwaves, so we call it the cosmic microwave background, background radiation. Uh, what we can learn from this radiation, uh, we look at hot and cold spots in that radiation and it tells us the scales of structures early in the universe. This light comes from just 400,000 years after the Big Bang, which is right near the beginning of the history of the universe. The universe is about 14 billion years old. Um, the Planck satellite is a space observatory which launched uh, in May of last year, which is uh, mapping the whole sky in this microwave radiation and is going to give us the best picture yet of this microwave background over the sky. From the statistics of the fluctuations in this background, we can measure properties of the universe. Um, we can determine what the universe is made out of, how much normal matter, how much dark matter, how much dark energy, and also um, things about how the initial fluctuations were laid down at the beginning of the universe and uh, it'll also give us information about how the universe has, has evolved from the Big Bang to the, to the present day.